The Abbey Church is a visible symbol of the pastoral and educational mission of the St. John's community. In the early 1950s, then Abbot Baldwin Dworshik sent a letter of invitation to 12 distinguished architects. He invited them to work with St. John's to create a master plan and to design a church for the campus. Abbot Baldwin's letter contained a paragraph that many of you may be familiar with. We are most interested in building a church which will be truly an architectural monument in the service of God. The Benedictine tradition at its best challenges us to think boldly and to cast our ideas and forms that will be valid for centuries to come, shaping them with the genius of present-day materials and techniques. We feel that the modern architect, with his orientation toward functionalism and the honest use of materials, is uniquely qualified to produce a Catholic work. In our position, it would, we think, be deplorable to build anything less, particularly since our age and country have thus far produced so little truly significant religious architecture. The monastery by itself surely did not need a church on the scale of the Breuer building. The university by itself would not likely have been interested in constructing anything on this scale. Indeed, the Breuer Church truly results from a united vision and mission of the Abbey and University. For the St. John's community, the Church has been a symbol of risk-taking and boldness of vision, of confidence and foresight. The Church embodies a vision of the human and religious. With its visual silence, it orients us toward the contemplative, toward simplicity. In powerful line and form, it draws one toward transcendence. It respects the presence of all who are present. There are no obstructed sight lines to the ambo and altar. If you revel in geometric forms, they are everywhere. The church has now been in use for six decades and has served all of us well in many functions. The church is heavily used by the monastic community for the liturgy of the hours and Eucharist, four times a day on most days and three on Saturday and Sunday. SJU students have Eucharist on Sunday evenings and reconciliation services in Advent and Lent. Faculty, staff, and students gather for the opening convocation each year. The community gathers in solemn and joyous assembly for graduation. There are funerals for SJU friends and alums, as well as parishioners of St. John the Baptist Parish. Weddings of parishioners and St. John's alums are held throughout the year. In a subtle manner, the bells mark the passage of time. When Officer Tom Decker of Cold Spring was tragically killed in November of 2012, the church was filled to maximum capacity with law enforcement personnel from across the country. Simply said, when we wish to gather the community, we are able to do so in a powerful, sacred space. It is now time to revitalize the Abbey and University Church. For the actual space, we need you to think and imagine with us how to respect the genius of the architecture and at the same time, bring it forward into the decades to come 
as a space that serves our common mission and vision of learning, the search for God, and a desire to live our lives for a higher purpose.